What's up everybody, Kyle here with HHM TV coming to you from the great outdoors here to talk about the top five waterfalls here in Indiana. A lot of people think there's just cornfields in Indiana. Well, you're sorely mistaken because there is a ton of majestic beauty here in this state and I'm going to start with number five on the waterfall list and that's Anderson Falls. Just east of Columbus, Indiana, Anderson Falls sits 12 feet high and 100 feet wide. One of the things I love about this waterfall is that it has easy access to the base of the waterfall. You can take a short trail down to the base and you can enjoy the beautiful scenery at base level. Another thing that's great about Anderson Falls is that it has nature trails and easy parking right across the street. Next up on the list, number four in Williamsport, Indiana is Williamsport Falls. Contrary to popular belief, Williamsport Falls is the second tallest waterfall in Indiana, standing at 90 feet. One thing that's super important to know is that this waterfall is often dry, so come after a nice rainfall or when the snow is melting in the spring. Another thing I absolutely love about this waterfall is that you can get behind the falls. It's an incredibly beautiful spot and I recommend anybody nearby to go and check it out. Next on our list in Jefferson County is Fremont Falls. Right outside of Hanover College, you can find Fremont Falls. One of the things I love about this falls is that it's not widely known. There's not really a place to park, there's no sign to show you where it is, and there's not even really a trail to show you how to get there. But once you get there, boy oh boy is it worth it. To my knowledge, this is the tallest waterfall in Indiana, standing at a whopping 108 feet. The last thing that I'll say about Fremont Falls is be very mindful of your surroundings. There's no real place to park, so make sure you're not parking on somebody's property and you're not blocking the road. Also, always bring a friend because this is a very dangerous waterfall. Since there's no real trail, you might not know where you're going, you might get lost, and please stay away from the edge because you never know when water might gain traction and you may slip. So stay off the waterfalls and enjoy the beauty from far away. Now before we get to waterfalls two and one on my list, I want to take a brief moment to talk about Hallmark Home Mortgage and what we can do for you. We work really, really hard at getting you pre-approved to get you into the home of your dreams. And we understand that videos like this, we want to get you out of the house. So once you're done chasing waterfalls, make sure and you contact Hallmark Home Mortgage if you ever need a pre-approval, refinance, VA loans, whatever it is, contact us and we'd be happy to help. Now back to number two on my list. Now to head down to Southern Indiana for number two on our list in Madison, Indiana, and that is Clifty Falls. Clifty Falls is a beautiful state park that has two main waterfalls, Big Clifty and Little Clifty Falls, both standing at 60 feet. What I love about this park is that there's also 12 miles of trails, a campground, and even a swimming pool for the kids. You'll definitely want to go see Clifty Falls after a heavy rainfall like we did because the water is powerful and so majestic to look at. As always, always be careful and hike with a friend. And now we're headed to number one on my list, which is my personal favorite, and that is Cataract Falls in Cloverdale, Indiana. Cataract Falls is the largest waterfall in Indiana by volume. It's split up between the upper falls at 30 feet and the lower falls at 15 feet. There's also a really nice covered bridge that you can walk through. Another thing I love about Cataract Falls is that they have multiple picnic areas, hiking trails, you can go fishing, the possibilities are endless. So there you guys have it. Those are the top five waterfalls in Indiana on my list. If you think I missed a waterfall or I got the order mixed up, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll be sure to check them out. For HHM TV, this is Kyle Thacker. We'll see you next time.